Hi, I'm Kyle from Mexico Trading, bringing you another quality gardening product. Today, we have the all-year miniature greenhouse, or as it's also called, cold frame. This step-by-step -step tutorial should help you get your miniature greenhouse all assembled in 30 minutes or less, and all you need is a Phillips screwdriver. The purpose of your cold frame is to extend your growing season from early spring to late fall. What your cold frame does is it protects your seedlings and small plants from frost, cold winds, heavy rains, and pests all year long. So let's get started. I recommend using a table or a raised surface so you can work from a comfortable height. So the four sides of your cold frame are made up of polycarbonate panels framed by aluminum and plastic profiles and are joined in the corners by these plastic connectors. Thanks to customer suggestion, we've made one great improvement. And that is the top comes completely pre-assembled. It's 14 parts in one. Now I'm gonna walk you through framing your panels with your aluminum profiles. The largest panel is the back panel. Note that the middle hole is closer to the top than to the bottom of the panel. Here, we're slipping on the top profile, which from an end view has a bit of a J shape. The bottom curve of the J faces outward, which will hold the hinges on the cold frame's lid. Know that the four side panels themselves have no inside or out. They are UV stabilized on both sides. To complete the back panel, snap on each side's plastic profiles and then repeat all of these steps for the front. Note that the bottom edge of the front panel is determined by the holes lowest to the edge. Lastly, snap on the plastic side profiles and the front is complete. So notice the difference in height. Here you have your taller back and your shorter front. So now we're going to assemble your sides. Once again, the shorter side is going to be your front and the taller end is going to be your back. Your side pieces are interchangeable, so you can use them on either side. Just make sure when you assemble the top piece that this lip is going to be facing inward. Now that we have our sides assembled with the lips facing in, let's attach our front and back. The gray plastic corner profiles firmly snap into the pre-cut holes on each panel, ensuring stability for your cold frame. Now that you have your four sides snapped together, we're going to use our connectors to tighten everything down. Pressing in the connectors locks the sides in place. All right, you're almost done. Let's attach the top, but we'll leave the protective film on until the very end. Tie any knot you wish at the end of each cord and thread it through the top corner connectors on each side of the cold frame. On the lid, loop the cord through the corner and tie your knot making sure you have enough slack to allow the lid to stand up on its own, just past 90 degrees. Make sure the cords are of near equal length, and note that the lid does not affix to the back panel. This is for easy removal to work your harvest if you wish. You finally get to use an assembly tool. Four quick turns with a Phillips screwdriver attaches the yellow handle. Removing the protective film can be done at literally any stage you wish. We removed it at the very end. As you can see, we already have the jump on spring, and it's only the middle of February. 